Hi there! Take the Tour is hitting the road for New England. We're heading for the coast of Maine in search of smoked salmon. Located in Hancock County in the heart of the Down East region, Sullivan Harbor Farms is home to one of the best salmon smokehouses in the country. Their handcrafted approach to producing award-winning smoked salmon in the age-old Scottish tradition is demonstrated here by smokehouse manager Paul Marcosian. I use, uh, I'm going to use almost this whole 50 pounds right now. So we go through two or three or four of these a week depending on how much fish we're doing. brown sugar. Uh, we're about to do 84 fillets of salmon. So we're going to have about uh, 4 pounds of brown sugar and 50 pounds of salt. And of course, most of that's going to get rinsed off later on, but it's going to sit on the fish and that's how the fish is going to cure. Brown sugar gives it flavor and a little bit of it gets absorbed by the fish. The more salt gets absorbed than sugar. And brown sugar is really optional, <clears throat> but it is the traditional. It, it is in the traditional Scottish recipe. And, and you're looking at this. It's this is um, four pounds of sugar, and we're going to be doing about 300 pounds of fish. You know, the fish are shipped in a refrigerated truck and <clears throat> brought here a few hours ago into a refrigerated walk-in. We still. Keep, you know, the ice keeps it at um, as close to 32 degrees as possible, which is the optimum temperature to start fish at. These are nice looking fillets. You know, there's, um, you see very little gaping in these. Gaping is when the flesh kind of separates, like and forms gaps. That's a tiny little example of gaping. But some fish, some fish, the way it's processed, depending on the way it's processed, can have a lot of gaping in it. And this fish is handled really carefully. It's, um, filleted by hand rather than machine. Machines tend to maul it and tear it apart a little bit. Uh, this, this is done by very skilled people who uh, work very fast, but very, uh, they handle the fish really well. After the fish is cured for seven hours, the salt and brown sugar is rinsed off the fillets. The fish are then placed on trays to be loaded into the smokers or kilns. Paul then fires up the kiln using hickory chips as fuel. The chips are placed in fire drawers located to the left of the main smoking chamber where the fillets are placed. The kilns are equipped with blowers that move the smoke from the smoldering fire trays into the main chamber where it slowly smokes the salmon. The smoking process is done, and Paul removes the fillets from the kiln. The fillets are then stacked and taken to the skinning machine, a device resembling a planer that a carpenter uses to shave and smooth wood. When the fish fillet is drawn across the blade surface, the skin and scales are removed. Paul's assistant, Jean, then takes the fillets and loads them into the slicing machine, a precision piece of equipment imported from Germany. As the fish move down the conveyor belt, a razor-sharp knife connected to a series of hydraulic pistons slices the fish into portions sized for packaging. The portions are then placed on small cardboard trays and packed by hand in the plastic bags. In order to maintain freshness, the bags are vacuum sealed. No preservatives are used in the process. See it? 
Now the fish are ready to pack and ship to mail order customers and food markets around the country and around the world. Sullivan Harbor Farms, where award-winning smoked salmon in the traditional Scottish recipe is produced with pride and care.